What's going on, everybody? Sam here with Quarter Man's Reef. We got a whole bunch of reagents in front of us. We're going to dive into them. Let's give a quick thanks to ABC Reagents for sponsoring part of this video. All right, cool. Let's go ahead and get into this shit. We got Neptune Systems right here, the brand new ABC Reagents line, and the DIY route right here. We're going to talk about what I like, what I don't like, what you should like, honestly, if you ask me, and what I would use. And we can kind of figure out what you would use too. So we'll start off with Neptune Systems. Um, the only big thing right here, I guess, since it has the N logo on it, is you get their support when you pay $45 for a two month kit of this. That's about really it. ABC Reagents, it's a couple pluses right here. So obviously for one, you're not gonna get any Neptune support when you're using this reagent, especially if you tell Neptune Systems. That should be obvious, but we should say that. Number one, it's made in USA, for sure, 100% in Indianapolis, Indiana. I like that. The price, this two month kit is $23.99. You got to pay a couple dollars to ship it, but $23.99 for a two month kit. That's still two bottles of A, one bottle of B, one bottle of C, and your calibration solution, just like if you were purchasing it right here. They have a six month kit that is only $59. You gotta pay to ship that as well. I think it's like $10, $12. And what they offer that Neptune doesn't is a four month kit for $43. It's $2 cheaper than a two month kit right here. Uh, this is all the same, by the way. There's nothing different about it. It's all the same as this stuff right here. So I don't know why you just wouldn't purchase from these guys just from the get go. Um, another one is whenever you purchase more than enough, so if you purchase a four month kit or a couple six month kits, all of that is made in one batch. So if you accidentally like lose a bottle for some reason or spill some or anything like that, there's no worries whatsoever. If you bought a six month kit from these guys and you start looking at the batch numbers on the bottom, you'll notice that the majority of them are different and you cannot just start mixing and matching them, especially the alkalinity because it's just not gonna be right whatsoever you would almost have to recalibrate every single time you put a new bottle in it if it's a different batch number. It's not the same right here. I have a six month kit that these people gave me to help me out with this video and it's all the same batch, just like the calibration solutions. The next one that I really uh, like about these guys is less packaging equals less waste because we're just throwing all this cardboard and plastic shit away to start with. There's no reason to ship this thing in two separate boxes to me. This just comes in one box, it goes in the trash, and then I hold on to the bottles. And that's that. Uh, they got a real accurate calibration solution, and besides it being more accurate than this one right here, these two together are made by the same chemist, so he takes the same precautions and procedures as he does to make this as this. And there's no ICP test going on right here to figure out what alkalinity is of all things, unlike right here, and it's just garbage and not good. And a lot of people have noticed that. Um, what I do like is you get more in these bottles. And I'm gonna show you right here. This is how much is left from one calibration, two tests on the bottle for just alkalinity and a couple different primes. You could get two calibrations out of this, but that's about it. So honestly, like if you're using these guys and you messed up a little bit or spilled the bottle or something like that, like don't even worry about it. There is more than enough. I'll go ahead and show you. This is after multiple different uses. This is after just one pure calibration. I think it was like 57, 58 milliliters in here. Go ahead and bring that up to you. 57, 58, sorry, I can't really tell if it's focusing well. So that's what's left in there. And here we go for the ABC. And that was 74. Might be able to see that better. But yeah, so there's that. That's um, all the things that I really like about ABC reagents. The biggest one is honestly like all the savings does get passed down to you. 
They save money on less packaging with boxes. They save money on not having to pay a lab to push a certain amount of product in order for them to be able to keep getting it from them. Um, what else? Actually, I don't think there's anything else past that. <laughs> they just pass down the savings to you, and it's absolutely great. Now, everybody knows that I lived in this DIY land right here for a while, and I absolutely loved it. The pros to it is, once you actually have like product being made, it is dirt cheap. You can make one two-month kit for a Trident for about $15 when it's all said and done. You gotta spend, without any tools, you gotta spend about $125, $135, and that's with shipping and everything to get all of this stuff to your house. Some of it could just be bought at your local hardware store, like the sodium hydroxide. It doesn't even need to be food grade or nothing like that. This is just being used for reagents. So there's that. What I really don't like about the DIY route though is even though it's cheap and it's pretty easy, it is a pain in the ass because it's a couple different steps. Like it really just is a pain in the ass. The first steps to make like reagent A, it's super simple. It'll take you like five minutes. I've even posted videos of that multiple different times on Instagram. But when it comes to making the B and C, it took me a while to get it right. And then and furthermore, with that being said, it just straight up sucks when you make it yourself. If that's how you want to do it, absolutely do it. These guys very soon are going to come out with a DIY kit. And I believe they're just going to ship it in these same bottles or when they transfer over to this type of bottle very soon. All the chemicals that you need, all this stuff right here that you need to make it in a very cheap kit will just be shipped in a couple different bottles with an instructions list for you on how to make it. That'll be pretty good. It's going to be pretty cheap. I really like that idea. Let them know if they should do that. I'm serious. These people have talked to me a couple different times and everybody has told me to tell them lower the prices, lower the prices. And they did it. They lowered their prices. Now it's time for you to step up. I'm sure we know which one I'm going with by now. It's not right here. If I need to, I will absolutely wake up one on reagents. But this is so damn cheap. I got to keep paying for this. I don't get this shit for free. This. But seriously though, I've been running these reagents on my trader for two days now. I understand that's not enough time to give a full real ass review on these. But in all seriousness, I'm going to run you through my dashboard and we're going to take a look at it. I even ran my own test kits against this and my tank, and I'll tell you what I came up with. So, all right, and now we're in it. So, let's go ahead and scroll down to the Trident. You'll see, this is what I'm reading for my tank right now. 8.2 for alkalinity, 407 parts per million for calcium, 1410 for magnesium. And I promise what we're about to get into, I'm not making this up. So, we'll go over here to my graphs, and you'll see when I first added this unit, put the reagents on and calibrated it. Scroll all the way down. Oh, sorry, wrong one. Wrong alkalinity. There we go. So it's got the phone. Actually, it's got the phone. It has to go over. Actually, oh. This was it right here. So when I first plugged the Trident in, it was reading the old numbers from when I unplugged it. We calibrated to 9.12 dKH which this bottle right here, 9.12 for alkalinity, 444 for calcium, 1458 for magnesium. So I calibrated it, you can see right here off the rip, of course it just read 9.12. And then as it uh, went into my tank, so I ran a couple tests, 8.16, all good, 7.91, which is where it kind of does run at night, 8.39 when the lights turn on, 8.2, all good to the graph, down, calcium, calcium, there we go, calcium, same thing, was reading the low calcium, calibrate it to 444, and then as it runs two tests in my tank, first it said 395, which is pretty close, and then it says now 407, which is actually basically where it's really at, because I tested it with my own test kits, and I could pull up the graph because I log it whenever I do do my own test just to test the trident, but my calcium test kit, the Red Sea, gave me 410 on the calcium. We call that absolutely perfect. I love that. So with the alkalinity though, my hand checker tells me 8.8, .8, my tank says it's at 8.2. That's whatever. That, that doesn't even matter, you know, like, I'm, they test completely two different ways. We're within a DKH. I'm cool with that. Now we'll go over here to magnesium. And at 
first, the unit reads whatever, 1414, whatever, then 1458 is our calibration. And then as it runs a couple tests and gets the tank water in the sample line, 1432, 1410. I just used my Salifert magnesium test earlier and I shit you not, 1410 on the dot. It was crazy. I, I should have recorded it all, but I really didn't have all the time. Now, what I wanted to show y'all is I have my sample line inside the ABC reagents bottle. I've already primed the unit to that water. Let's go ahead and run an alkalinity test and see what happens. And I know it seems like I'm just shitting on Neptune, and I promise I'm not. I do love Neptune and their products. I got all kinds of their stuff behind me on this wall. I love the Trident unit itself. This, I don't love so much. All right, while we're patiently waiting on that, we're gonna try and throw the old dog a bone, and we'll test the alkalinity unit with the hand checker. Hopefully, when I'm done with this, that'll be done. We can test the alkalinity of that bottle too and see what it says. So let's go ahead and get started on this. Um, pro tip for me, I have found that the syringes that come with uh, infant medicine tend to be the most accurate when you weigh out the milliliters with them, so that's just my two cents. Check it. I'm sure y'all know my most recent incident with one of these. I'm still pissed. I'm terribly sorry about that. My camera just spaced out. All right, let's finish off this test. And I'll show y'all. Okay. I've never really seen that one before, but it says 8.3 on the bottle. I'm sorry if you couldn't really see that. That says 8.8. .8. That's actually good. I cannot say that like every single one of these bottles is like absolute garbage, but I mean, Trident wise, like this really is most of the issues that you get. What's this guy doing? Still testing. It's because the alkalinity is so different from the bottle in the tank because the bottle is one DKH higher than the tank, supposedly. Or some would agree that this is a terrible way of testing this. That's all right, tea drizzle. See what we get. It says 9.12 on the bottle. Look at that. Hopefully this focuses so you can see it. Oh, am I rotating the wrong way? Show him. 9.12 on the bottle. Hannah checker says 9.2. Let's go ahead and pull the fusion out back up and see what it says. All right, you see it right there. 8.92 for alkalinity. It's pretty good if you ask me. I call that way more solid than this guy, even though it was what, a 0.4 difference? That's not that bad either. I have said that 0.5 is good for me on a Trident, so I guess technically this one landed in the good range. You know these reagents are good, but this one landed in the better range. So to conclude our whole deal, which one would I really use? It's just gonna be right here. It's just that cheap. Like I said earlier, I do this if I need to, but this is just too cheap. Why not buy it? $23, $45. You do the math. It's your money, not theirs. All right, if you like this comment, please give me a like, drop a comment down below, and subscribe for more.